In this tutorial, we're going to make a course and go over what the options in making a course are. So you're going to want to go to the left-hand menu, and you'll see this little person in front of what looks like a chalkboard. Click Add Course. Courses are mostly for marketing and namespace reservation. So we're going to make a course called Hockey 100. By default, Hockey 100 will create a version of its own. A version is different from a course, that way you can say a course exists without having to actually offer it and go through all those logistics. We're going to, for now, say this is just for listing purposes. For unit, we're going to put it in Department 1. And we'll show how to change that in a second. I'm going to open up additional information. You'll see the title of this course will be Learning the Basics of Hockey. Description would be more details about that course. Take this course to learn more about the rules. You can have links to more information. As well as take a picture and put it in here. By default, it will have more or less this image of a person with a blackboard. So we'll just use that for now. Can provide some sample materials such as syllabi or marketing materials that you want to portray to students. Under technical requirements, we have what types of plugins to test for. This will test when students log into and access the course, it will present them with a message if they're not meeting these requirements. This is to help streamline help desk requests. While it's not 100% accurate in terms of things like detecting Adobe PDF or PDF reading capabilities, it's better than not doing the tests at all. Administrative gets into mostly things that are there uh, for our purposes of when this was originally created. Uh, you can have faculty resources. Once you've start to, started to populate this with users, you can have an ID of record purely for, for administrative record keeping purposes. You can also say that other courses in the system are prerequisites to take this one. Again, that's mostly just for communication purposes and could be implemented at a later date. Now we're going to click Save. You'll see, by default, I'm taken to a marketing page. Whenever you create a course, there's effectively three ways of viewing a course. You have the way you're marketing that course to outside prospective students. You have students, which are people that you know are students potentially at your college or university. And then you also have instructor. This is where some of those administrative details would go. These are also very specific to the way you would be implementing the system. And so we haven't done a lot in terms of content presentation here, other than give some ideas. Across the top, you'll see we have add new version. We can check what the status is currently. And so you'll see there are no versions in here. We have a description and just kind of some more heads up display types of information. Once you start to build out versions, you can also list them. And so this will start to generate a large list of whatever versions you have associated to this course. If you imagine offering this course over several years, this list could start to get pretty big and that's why it's kind of tucked away. If you want to change what the grouping is, so if we go back up to System Home now, Instead of seeing a marketing or a help video, what we'll instead see is the little landing page here for this unit. If you want to change what the academic units are, because by default we just have Department 1, 2, 3, 4, click on the System Settings icon. Then go to Department List. From a Drupal side, this is just taxonomy in the system. And you can change these to whatever you want. We'll change Department 1 to the College of Hockey. And hit Save. Now you can see instead of Department 1, we have the College of Hockey. And if I go back to our home page here, we have the College of Hockey as an academic unit. I could then filter by College of Hockey and see that this course is the only thing that comes up.